Hey everyone, my name is Mrinal Kuteri. I am presently a first year MBBS student at Ames New Delhi and I secured joint All India Rank 1 in NEET UG 2021. And do or die topics of uh, for biology. Personally, this is something I would not recommend. Like do or die topics makes it seem like some are more important than the other, right? So that isn't really healthy like it kind of gives you tunnel vision you know you think you do a few chapters and then that's enough to get you a good score and a good rank you can figure out the do or die topics yourself based on the weightage that is given <coughs> sorry the weightage that is given to these uh, topics in the exam like how many questions come from it in relation to other chapters so that way you can figure out but if you kind of you know give priority to a particular chapter based on how important it is that isn't really uh, useful or beneficial in the long run because if you're looking for a good score then you can't uh, skimp on anything like all chapters you need to be thorough with it or you need to have at least given it a shot obviously some chapters will be strong some will be weak but you need to have given everything a fair shot you should have tried to learn everything properly thoroughly but anyway, that's it. Do or die topics for biology would be those, you know, from which more questions have come um, frequently year on year in the final exam. So let's get to that. So most of these, again, uh, I, I myself am saying this only on the basis of how many previous year questions have come on it. So chapters like uh, cell biological classification again you'll see that with I'm actually naming a lot of chapters which again points out that you can't really say that only three or four chapters are like prime importance rest are second tier rest are third tier you can't really say that a uh, plant kingdom also a fairly easy chapter but again a lot of memory involved so then morphology anatomy these these two are very important chapters a lot of questions come from this morphology anatomy okay talking a little bit about this it's easy to see why cell is a very important chapter because cell is as the, as is in the, there in the name of the chapter it's the basic unit of life so you need to have an in-depth understanding of the cell and all the processes in it all the organelles in it and so on and so forth that's what makes cell such an important chapter and morphology and anatomy are also two chapters from which a lot of questions have come year on year and the good thing is again they are usually almost always ncrt based morphology is such an examples based chapter that you know some like I remember in my module class notes and all, we went way beyond NCRT. Like uh, examples, really unknown examples completely. But really, you can read that because it gives you confidence. But again, the excuse me, the important ones are the ones which are given in NCRT. Apart from this, coming to more specific chapters, biomolecules. <laughs> Now biomolecules, I'm saying for a specific reason, it's very important because this has connection to chemistry. You have a topic of biomolecules in chemistry as well. And again, this is very basic to understanding a lot of things which come further ahead like proteins, carbohydrates. These are basic to all topics of almost all topics of biology and in, uh, or in sometimes in organic chemistry as well. So knowing this chapter well is important. The good thing is because it's there here in, uh, in uh, biology and in uh, <coughs> chemistry, it means you get more uh, opportunity to read and revise it. So, you know, if you get it right in one by the time the other, it comes around in the other place, you'll already be thorough with it. But this is an important chapter. Do not neglect it. Apart from that, to be honest, physiology as a whole is very important. And I know that together I have pretty much covered the whole of 11th. I realize that. But th it's because I don't think any chapter is specifically important. But in physiology, again, there are some which are um, more important on the basis of number of questions like, uh, which were they? Uh, neural control. Neural and chemical.
and um, neural and chemical control and then what else was there in plants there's photosynthesis the plant hormones were well, after plant growth and development that one and then apart from this obviously in from respiratory when the uh, breathing in humans you will get one or two questions from circulatory system you will get two questions the excretory system two questions one or two whatever that varies a little bit but it's not fixed digestive system you'll get a couple so together physiology same thing in plants like there's transport there's mineral nutrition there's respiration in plants also from all of these few 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 questions makes physiology a very important unit as a whole but again these are the ones that are sometimes given a little more importance i weightage in my opinion but none of this is fixed in is none of this is set in stone they can change the weightages once in a while so you should be prepared for that and which is why i'm saying you know everything is important please do not um please don't give less time to something simply because you think it's not important because i haven't mentioned it here or because you know only one question is going to come from it kya hi ho jayega coming to 12th class um reproductive physiology the reproductive system whatever the reproduction in humans wala chapter is important because there are many questions which come from that and again there's a lot of scope to go in depth there in any physiology chapter there is really but particularly in humans uh, in reproduction in plants also is an important chapter but i don't know i feel like the humans wala chapter is more important like more questions tend to come from that secondly uh, genetics chapter is very very important genetics i count two chapters under genetics so principles of inheritance and variation and molecular basis of inheritance these two chapters are very important again uh, read from ncert read from beyond practice a lot of mcqs based on these two topics these two chapters really are very important and they are also pretty interesting and that's personal obviously but i found it very interesting so do give these chapters time they are understanding based so it may take a little bit of time initially for you to get it right but be patient with it and it will get you rewards apart from that the organisms and population chapter was important i think it's a big chapter also and then from ecosystem biodiversity environmental issues also you'll get a couple of questions i think i should write down ecosystem also here I don't remember the exact name of that chapter, but it was something like this. So these are in general the chapters where you know more questions tend to be asked. But again, it is not set in stone. It's up to them. It's up to the uh, up to NTA, the paper setting agency, to decide how many questions they want to give from where. These are the chapters which I'm saying are important. Almost all of these I've said are important only because more questions tend to come, which is not fixed. So please do give time to every chapter, and don't really. have tunnel vision and you know just focus on a few uh, thank you very much that's it from me good luck with your preparation